why am I standing here on this gorgeous peninsula of land somewhere in northern Ontario some 4,000 kilometers away from where I live with a subscriber to my channel To answer that, I'd better rewind back to the very beginning. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Blue Marble Riders, wherever you are. You're probably wondering what on earth I'm doing here. I'm not on my motorcycle. You can probably guess I'm wearing one of these. I'm looking a bit disheveled. I've been up since four o'clock this morning. I'm about three quarters of the way through my journey and I'm en route to Sudbury, Ontario to pick up a new to me motorcycle and I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, here I am uh, waiting at D3 for my flight to Sudbury. It's gonna be boarding any time. Uh, I meant to do this a little earlier, but it's been nuts getting the connections. I, uh, the flight that took off from Nanaimo on Vancouver Island, uh, some 4,000 kilometers west of here, was late. And so when I got into Calgary, I had, I don't know, 20 minutes to get through that huge airport and get to the flight to Toronto. I just landed. I've got about five or 10 minutes before the next flight. I just quickly wanted to tell you uh, some background to this before we actually get to Sudbury and take a look at the bike. Um, because there's someone picking me up and if you remember three or four videos ago I was talking about um, this being the golden era for motorcycles how motorcycles have never been better than they are now uh, more reliable more choices and it's not going to get better for the internal combustion engine motorcycle so as far as internal combustion engine motorcycles are this is the best it's ever been now, of course, electric bikes are coming, and if you want to hear what my diatribe on that is, um, go watch the video. But in that video, towards the end, I made a tongue-in-cheek plea for someone to uh, help me get out to Ontario and uh, pick up the bike for me, or, as in this case, for me to fly out, meet a subscriber, pick up the bike, and drive 4,000 kilometers back to Vancouver Island. How can you turn that down? So not only are you going to see the bike, you're also going to see some of the journey on the way back. I hope you like it. Oh, and one more thing. I haven't seen the bike yet. I paid a substantial sum for it, but I haven't seen it yet. I've spoken to the seller a lot. Rick, his name is, super nice guy. And more than that, the subscriber who's picking me up from Sudbury and driving me to pick the bike up and then looking after me in his cottage by the lake for two or three days before we drive back to Vancouver Island is the one who checked the bike out for me, did the transaction and has organized this whole thing. You couldn't have got that done 20 years ago without internet or YouTube, could you? It's just amazing. So here I am in Toronto, ready to get to Sudbury to pick up this new to me bike. See you in a minute. You can hear my voice, but you can't see the new bike. I'll get Lyle to turn, reveal the new bike. This is a Moto Guzzi 1200 SE, and it's new to me, 2016. I'm really loving it, gorgeous shape. You'll remember on the video a few weeks ago, I was talking about electric bikes, the future of bikes, and that the golden era is right now. And one part in that video, I talked about engine configuration. This is the engine configuration I've never ridden with before. Uh, transverse V-twin, Moto Guzzi. I've always wanted one ever since I was a kid and saw an 850 Le Mans. This is the large, big block, air-cooled Moto Guzzi that Guzzi will make before the V100 comes out. And so that was my motivation for getting this bike. The bike is, like I said, 2016, new to me, 11,000 kilometers. Rick was the previous owner. He was very sad to see it go. You're wondering why I traveled 4,000 kilometers to get one when I could have probably searched hard and found one in British Columbia. Uh, the answer to that is, one, the price was right. Uh, two, they're, they're cheaper out east, at least in Ontario. And three, the joy of coming here, being with a subscriber, Lyle, 
seeing his beautiful cottage and the journey back is going to be epic so that's why I've come out and we've sort of everything has coalesced so welcome to my new Moto Guzzi I haven't named it yet uh, I'll go around and take, show you a few things that I love about it. Of course, I love the red color on the tank, this huge gas cap on the, on the tank here, the massive jug sticking off the side. And then coming up to the front, he's got this nice fly screen on it. On the side, this is an oil cooler, so it's air and oil cool. That's a co cooler cover. I've seen people change these. They've done all sorts of things. Some of them have put license plates on here and then cut through them. And they look quite attractive. It's quite interesting. I've seen a few of those around. So you can change those covers on it. What I'm going to do to the bike, it won't happen probably for a good year until I've ridden it and decide what I like and what I don't like, what I want to change, what tickles my fancy. That's what I did basically with the Z900 RS and it'll be the same with this. So which bike am I going to get rid of, you might be asking? Probably none. I'm, I think I'm an addict. So. Uh, don't worry, I don't think I'm going to lose any of my bikes. And if I do, that'll be a decision I make in the, in the distant future, not immediately. So this doesn't mean that one has to go out because I'm bringing one in. All right, so for the first time to me, let's uh, see, Lyle was the man who came out and actually did this negotiation for me to buy this bike. So it was sight unseen to me. I'd, I'd only seen it in videos. I talked to Rick. And so we are going to start this bike. Uh, and for me, it's the first time. Lyle's heard it, said it sounds beautiful. But I, I've never started it, so I don't know if I've got to pull the clutch in. I, don't, I know she's in neutral. I noticed there's an immobilizer light flashing once in a while. So who knows? Because we didn't start it, wheeled it up and put it on the trailer, did we set the immobilizer off? Some of you Gutsy fans out there will probably know, but I'm going to give this a start for the first time and uh, turn her on without scratching the tank. So everything warms up there. Give it a chance to do its injector thing. Looks like it's okay. It's not flashing anything at me. I'm going to pull the clutch in. Remember to insert your user code. Hmm. Not sure what that means, but let's give it a shot. No user code needed. Oh my God. That sounds beautiful. Apparently, I've heard this. You have to wait a couple of minutes before you roll the throttle or it can die. Lovely. Listen to that. Yes, it's got a definite move and, and uh, being that it's a transverse V-twin, you can hear the mechanical sounds. That's quite normal for this bike in the research I've done. Being that it's a transverse V-twin, when you... Very like a BMW, probably more so than a BMW, it, it, it likes to pop over to the right-hand side. But that is a beautiful, beautiful noise. I've got to sit on this. Look at the bars. I love it. So she's ticking over at about 1100 RPM. Now, of course, this bike has no ABS, uh, no traction control, and it's pre Euro four and five. So um, it doesn't have so much of the gubbins on it that the modern bikes do. It's got a little uh, temperature gauge up here, telling me the engine is running at 72 Fahrenheit right now, so it's not warm or anywhere near it. It's got a wrench sign on it, so I'll have to look at that. It's probably telling me there's something that needs doing, maybe an oil change. Uh, the, the immobilizer's off, which is good. But I'll get into all of that on the journey home. I'll have lots of time to be reading through the manual and figure out uh, what I need to do to it. To know, 80 Fahrenheit. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'll kill her off now. Wow. Even when you turn her off, there's a there's a desire of the bike then to do the opposite thing, go this way and then rock this way. Not a beginner's bike. All right, perfect.
Wow, she's a she's a man's bike. Once again, thanks for watching everyone. If this is the first time you've watched, please consider subscribing. I do motorcycle reviews, motorcycle related product reviews, off-road and on-road vlogs as well as tours. Even though I'm not the most diligent poster, don't forget to follow me on social media. That's Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And to like, and especially, I'm begging you here folks, subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell so that you're notified whenever I release a video. This is the Blue Marble Rider, out.